Hi, thank you for joining me again today. If you don't know who I am, my name is Courtney. And today I want to share with you why I think it's important to exercise if you have a muscle disease. Today I want to talk about the reason why for maintaining strength. I think maintaining strength is a huge reason to exercise when you have a muscle disease because I know for me, I want to be independent as long as I possibly can, which hopefully will be forever, but you just, you never know. And I've heard it from a lot of other people. They want to be independent. They wish they could be more independent. So I think maintaining strength because independence is a huge one to be as independent as you can for as long as you possibly can. What, what would you do if you're more independent? What would you be able to do? What, what would change for you? A second reason that I think is important to main strength and why to exercise with the muscle disease is because if you're working, you want to be able to work that job for as long as you can, right? Well, I guess it depends on your job. For me, I love my job and I never can imagine quitting my job. So it, there is a lot of activities um, that go on that I do still have a hard time with. For example, going on a hike, getting up and down off the grounds sometimes. Those are challenges for me, which I know is very small challenges compared to a lot of other people. But there's other things with a job. So if you like your job, you want to be able to work at it and not get too weak to not be able to continue working that same job. So that's another reason to maintain strength and also another reason to work out and exercise with muscle disease. And then my third and final reason for maintaining strength for, well, for working out with the muscle disease and for, for maintaining strength to be a big one is because, for example, with spinal muscular atrophy, um, when I was first diagnosed, there were no treatments available. And I actually got diagnosed at a really good time and... Um, you can read more about my story in my book, which I can link, or on my blog, or watch a previous video. Anyway, I got diagnosed right before any treatments were available. It was a very... the way the diagnosis was put to me was <laughs> kind of awful. But anyway, I chose not to listen, and I'm glad that I did. And anyway, now... There are actually two, well, actually three treatments available for spinal muscular atrophy. For babies under the age of two, Zolgensma, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, gene therapy is available, which from what I've been seeing from others is amazing and doing amazing things for others. Um, Rizdaplam recently was FDA approved for everyone. I don't have access to it right now, but I've seen a lot a lot of people that do and that are uh, like thriving with it. And then Spinraza, which is the treatment that I'm on and I'm, I've noticed I've been doing really well with it. So with treatments being available, there's the possibility of being able to get stronger, which is something that I think would be awesome. Actually, it has been awesome. If you've been following me, you've, you've watched as I've gotten stronger, but anyway, so those are my three, three reasons for maintaining strength and three added reasons for exercising when you have a muscle disease. So anyway, for more, for more tips next time, come, um, be sure to subscribe and I will share my knowledge with you. And I hope you have a great day as always. Until next time.